What's good, guys? It's Sam here. Back at you. I'm going to give you an update on Amazon Associates. Um, but before I do that, make sure you press that subscribe button and that little bell notification so YouTube can tell you every time I post a new video. So, I've got the results for the month of January. And, um, well, first of all, let me give you some context, right? So what I'm doing is documenting my journey of creating a source of income online that allows me, <clears throat> excuse me, I did not pause for dramatic effect, I just burped. That was a pause for dramatic effect. Um, that allows me to live a completely location independent um, uh, source of income or have a completely location independent source of income. Um, so that's what I am doing and that might take six months and might take six years. So uh, I'm just going to keep documenting the process of what I'm doing, the deal, anything that I'm doing for making that's going to be making money um, and just let you guys know and you can do exactly the same thing. So if you want to follow along, make sure you subscribe. Um, one of the things that I'm doing for uh, a source of income is Amazon Associates. Uh, what Amazon Associates is, is an affili affiliate link where you can create a link from any product on Amazon and then you use that link. So when you, if you watch a YouTube video and somebody's like, oh yes, and then this ballpoint pen is so smooth and then it writes very good and, and then this cap is like snug on the fucking thing here and like doesn't come off it's very hard or, and, and this ink is like doesn't scratch off and there's a link in the description if you want to get it. That link in the description for Amazon, that person gets paid um, if you go click on the link and then go purchase something. So I'm not really trying to push any products because um, I, I don't feel the need to. Uh, if there's something that I use, um, I'll put it in the description. Um, but it's not, I'm not trying to like sell shit. If, if you have something that you want to purchase on Amazon, um, and you want to support the channel, click on the link and then just go purchase whatever it is that you want to purchase. And uh, that supports the channel because there's a small portion of that that I get. And that's what I'm about to talk about. So I started this uh, right around the 22nd of November, right around Thanksgiving. And uh, I got my first sale in the month of December. So I did not even include anything for the month of November because I didn't have any sales in there. So what, what I'm going to do is just run down the, the numbers for each individual month and then I'm just going to go through and talk about some of these things. Okay, so for the, and we're going to start where the traffic comes from. So it comes from YouTube primarily. There's barely any links anywhere else that I've shared. And uh, in the month of December, I had a little over 20, I had about 22.7 thousand views on YouTube in terms of the entirety of the channel. Not every single one of those views even has, or all the videos even have links in the description, which is reminding me to make sure I get in there and update that at some point, uh, because that will actually increase the number of clicks um, that I will get. But because uh, there's 600 plus videos, right? So I had 300 really before I was getting started and then I put out a bunch before I even put joined Amazon Associates. So not all the videos even have links in them. And uh, if you know of a product or something I can do that kind of like lets me update all of the descriptions at once, let me know down below in the comments. Or um, there's a link for Instagram in the description. Just jump over there and say what's up and let me know what product it is because that would be awesome. It's super fucking helpful. Um, so 22.7 thousand and 1.8, 1.38% of the people from YouTube clicked one of those links to Amazon. So about um, out of every like thousand people or so, um, 138 clicked through, right? And the total number of clicks for the month of December was 313 clicks. So that's just over 10 per day on average. Um, and that 
led to an average income of 77 cents per day. So I just took the total for the month and I just divided it by the number of days and that's what I did for the other two months because I feel like that gives a much more relative picture um, when you compare it on a daily basis. So in the month of December, I got 77 cents per day. That was like 24 bucks, just under 24 bucks uh, for the whole month divided by 31 days is 77 cents. <clears throat> Now, for the month of January, right, like December here in the United States is a very big holiday time. So a lot of people are shopping, right? And, the, and with the way the world is going, um, everybody's shopping on fucking line. So I would expect the conversion to be higher in the month of December. And it was, right? The number of, so we're going to start the same thing on, on YouTube, was 35,000, 35.5 thousand views on YouTube for the month of uh, January. So a big increase in terms of the number of views. So you have the views going up, but then you have the conversion going down uh, for, and it almost offsets. So the total number of clicks from those 35,000 to YouTube was 336. So in December it was 313, in January it was 336. So there was a slight increase of 20 something, uh, 23 or whatever, uh, but the conversion from those 35,000 was only 0.95%. And it was actually lower than that. Um, there's a little bit of data that's missing in the YouTube analytics, like you have all the days for the analytics, like oh, this many here, this many here, this many here, this many here, and then there's one day where it's just zero. But the, the data was there and something happened within YouTube analytics where the data was pulled out, but I don't remember how much it was. So it was probably more like 37,000 views. So if it was 37,000 views, the actual conversion would be even lower. Um, now, um, 336 clicks, right? But I also like to look at it on a daily basis. It just, I like to see more ways of looking at the data to just try to understand it a little bit better. So you see a little bit of an increase, right? But you go from 10.1 clicks per day on average in the month of D December to 10.84 clicks per day on average in the month of January. So if you do the math on that, that's a 7% increase month over month, 7.32% increase month over month, which if you continue that, right, that's going to be some crazy shit at the end of a year. Like if you have a 7% month over month uh, progress, that's going to be some crazy shit. Um, now, the um, actual converge, well, I'll talk about the conversion at the end or whatever. Um, so that increased the total amount that of money that I made per day on average in the month of December and January was... 45 cents. So I went from 77 cents to 45 cents, like a significant drop, like a 40% drop, something like that. But then again, put it into context, right? The month of December is a huge holiday shopping season here in the United States. The month of January is not. Not as many people are buying shit online. It's just not. De December and the, the fourth quarter, uh, fiscal quarter of a year is just much busier online. Uh, so that dropped uh, 45 cents. <clears throat> but the, uh, so now we're, th we're three days into the month of February. So yes, it's not really, you know, it's just only three data points so far. Once, you know, we're around the 15th of the month, um, then we'll have a much better picture of how the month of February is going because you can't really say based on three days. But I'm going to give that data anyway because I, uh, want to show you some of these results. The total number of views so far in the month of February is 3,519. The total number of, uh, the total conversion from YouTube, right, those views in three days, so a little over 1,000 views per day, um, the total conversion is about the same as it was for January. But... When you look at January's views, remember that was skewed downward because one data point, one day is missing, right? And there's probably around two, um, there's probably around a thousand views uh, that day. So, because it's just been like that average is about a thousand per day that I've been getting lately. Um, 
so that that would actually be lower so you would see the numbers for conversion from YouTube to Amazon actually increasing um, and uh, that would be a good thing that would definitely be a good thing so it was 0.94 versus 0.95 but again I that 0.95 doesn't really mean a lot because it's missing data <clears throat> that translates into 33 clicks from YouTube to Amazon and that the total number of clicks per day, right? It's three days in, it's fucking 11 clicks per day. Now, the interesting thing is the amount of uh, money that I made so far per day is 69 cents. So we're getting at least, at least three days into the month, right? You can't fucking extrapolate this out. It's only three days into the month. But it's 69 cents per day on average right now. So only eight cents behind what it was in the month of December. I don't know, it could be kind of interesting, especially if I can get a little bit of growth. If I could get that up to say 1,500 views per day uh, on average towards the second half of the month, then, and the conversion, if it still stayed at about 0.95, I could I could see these numbers, um, the amount that I make per day on average, increasing to above what it was in December, but we'll see how the rest of this month goes. Um, so the, uh, now the total, the aggregate, right? The total of the amount of money that I've made from, uh, or that I've made in terms of the total product sold on Amazon is $703.33. So before I tell you how much I made, obviously you can do the math on that, but um, of that, think about this, right? At some point, it would make sense to create something to uh, maybe just an ancillary thing or just uh, something that's just a fun project to um, to sell but not really sell and just put the links in the description because that's seven hundred dollars going toward Amazon right like if I just you know happen to fucking sell fucking I don't know t-shirts or fucking something and I just put a link in the description and mentioned it at the end of a video every once in a while, and then I got 700 sales out of it. Instead of making what I did make, maybe I make 20%, right? 20% of that's 140 bucks. I didn't make 140 bucks. But just think about that, right? So if you have somebody go purchase something from your website, right, and you make, um, you get 20%, that's 140 bucks, you also have their email, so you can, Remarket to them again and again in the future, right? Because you're just going to build an email list as time goes on. So I think at some point that may be the route I go, but I'm thinking maybe more along the lines of a newsletter potentially. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it plays out, and I will definitely let you guys know as we progress. Okay, so now the total amount that I made from Amazon was 39 bucks and 68 cents so far. Not much, but about 40 bucks. So over a tank of gas, though, that's pretty nice. And, um, and this is just the beginning, remember. I started this less than 90 days ago in terms of Amazon. I started the Amazon Associates less than 90 days ago, and I've already made 40 bucks online, like, just creating content. I'm not, I'm not fucking selling shit or anything like that. Also, in about two more weeks, the YouTube channel should be able to uh, start the ch process of getting remonetized. So thumbs up for that shit. Uh, from my research, it looks like after uh, after I reach a certain point, about two weeks, you have to have, to have 240,000 minutes watched, and that should I should hit that around the 20th of the month. Um, so when I hit that, then I can apply for remonetization. And I'm saying remonetization because I used to be monetized. If you want to check that video out, there's a link in the description. Um, or there's a, not in the description, on the channel. Um, just check it out. I think it made like over 500 bucks last time I was monetized. Uh, so I need to hit 240,000 minutes watch. Once I hit that, then it can apply to remonetize. From what I'm looking at, it's probably going to be about a week or so. Uh, to get the channel remonetized. Anyways, if you guys want to follow along with this journey, make sure you press that subscribe button and that bell notification. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Or if you found any value in this video, make sure you press that thumbs up button. 
Uh, I will answer anybody who reaches out to me on Instagram. Um, just come say what's up. Shoot me in a DM. Follow me. Say what's going on. I, po I post a lot more fitness related stuff on there and I'm always posting um, stories on Instagram. So come say what's up. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.